Hi guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Halaji Baba Usman Gazama, the national president of the Mieti Hala Cattle Breeders Association of Nigeria, claims that Samar Autumn, the governor of Benue State, was indirectly responsible for the bombing, bombing in Rukubi that resulted in the death of more than 40 pastoralists. According to Ngazama, if there hadn't been a legislation against open grazing, the Fulani headers' cows would, would never have been seized in the first place. He said that the governor of Ben Waits State, Governor Artom, who had enacted the law, had refused to acknowledge his greater impact on Benue's farmers. He explained that since the ordinance was implemented in Benue State, the conflict between the headers and farmers has gotten worse. He believes that the farmers and the headers must once again live in peace. In an outright statement, he demanded that the governor of Benue State revoke the anti-open grazing law before things spread out of control. These things have been occurring for a very long time. And for that reason, the anti-open grazing ordinance of the Benue State administration must be abolished. It is destructive not just to pastoralists, but even to farmers, he said. Who is winning today, as Autumn said, when he borrowed this law? Even for the farmers, it is a lost, lost situation. If you travel to Benue State, you will witness a number of IDPs filled with farmers from various locations. What caused this? The law requires it. What do you expect, given that Autumn passed that law with the goal of intentionally driving pastoralists out of Benue State. He said, hmm. It's so sad that these people talk, you know, threats like as if Nigeria belongs to them. In the first place, why did the governor make that law in his state? Did he just wake up and start, you know, electing a law like such? They don't even talk about that. The very way people are being killed by these people. If they don't stop them roaming around the, the bushes and the villages and all that, they won't know where their enemies are coming from. These people are just trying to tell us that the government is the one sponsoring Fulani Hezmen, but pretending to be fighting corruption. Killings here and there in Benue states. You will never hear the president speak. They look the other way. But once one of these people are being killed, all of them are talking. No life deserves to die like this. Yes, if we are in a normal country, if we are in a sane country, no life deserves to be killed the way people are being killed in this country. But we have a government who cares less about the lives of people, whether you they die you, or you know they die you, or you they eat food though, or anything they happen to you, that is not their business. They have mission. They want to accomplish, and they are very focused on that. Everybody talking about bombing of these people, this and this and that and all that. Did they even ask if Governor Autumn is um the 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 commander of a chief security or the number one chief security commander or whatever they call it in Nigeria, how could he give a such command to the military? And if at all he gave such command, it can only be in the states, not outside the states. Everybody is just after Governor Orton because it's he asks these people to stay one place. The killings in Benue states is too much. The Fulanis continue to threat, to threaten Nigerians because they ask them to stay one place. I don't know when cow business business don't turn to national issue. Every person, every other Nigerian have their own business they are doing, and I don't think they are using it, you know, to disturb.
the government, the way these Fulani headsmen are using their, their personal business to disturb the government, disturb Nigerians from our peaceful sleep. This is getting out of hand. You are asking him to do it. So now he has just told us, Ngazama, I've just told Nigerians that because the, the governor of uh, Benue State stopped uh, um, this uh, open grazing in Benue State, that is why these people uh, are now attacking the Benue's, the Benue people. Hmm. Honestly speaking, it's, it's really so bad that we got ourselves into this. And now we are about to make another mistake of our life. That is even the, the saddest part of the whole story. Someone said, yeah, talks and threats like these are some of the reasons I believe that there is a grand plan by the Fulanis to keep the presidency to themselves in 2023. Nigerians should shine their eyes. Oh. They said that army invaded their land and threatening them. How come you are mentioning the Fulanis? Fulanis are, are liars. Good to blame others of their misfortunes when the autumn become military personnel or commander in chief of armed forces. Exactly. This is what I was trying to say. Governor Orton is not the commander in chief of armed forces. So why are they keeping blames on him? Sanusi Lamedo also is blaming Governor Orton. That one openly said Governor Orton, you know, a, a did conducted the bombing himself and all that. So they just have this kind of hatred in the Benue State on the Benue State governor just because he stopped open grazing in his state. Honestly speaking, these people have an agenda. That means the IPOB leader, Mazid Nambikano, is a prophet. I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.